Hey everybody, you're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the brand new DJI N3 goggles. These are FPV goggles designed to be used with several of the DJI drones, including the DJI Neo and the Avada 2, and there might be some others you can use them with, I'm not sure yet. But we're gonna open these up, unbox them, see what they come with, see how they fit, get them set up, and show you how to do all that stuff, so stay tuned. So if you've been flying FPV for a while, you might know that DJI has come out with a variety of different goggles over the years, and these are the latest ones. And I think what makes these the newest and latest and greatest isn't really features, although they have some great features, it's price. These are gonna be priced lower than the Goggles 3, which is their current standard. So we'll go ahead and get these open. And there they are. Now these are definitely bigger than the Goggles 3. They seem to stick out a little bit further. And I think part of the reason for that is that they're designed to be used with glasses. And they've got a lens protector in here that I'll pull out. They've got a couple of small lens protectors, probably to keep the lenses from getting scratched, which I'll also pull out. And there they are inside. There's a profile view. Again, you can see they're fairly deep. And they've got the two antennas here on top. They've got the battery integrated into the strap right here. And they've got uh, a lot of nice, soft, foamy padding here. So let me go ahead and put these guys on and see how they feel. Now, with the Goggles 3, and it looks like with these as well, you can twist this little um, round disc, and that's going to either tighten or loosen them, depending on if you twist righty-tighty or lefty-loosey. And oh, yeah. Right now, I'm sitting under these video lights, and there is very little light leak coming through. I can see a little bit up here, I guess and over here, kind of in these corners, but it's very, very minor. So if you buy this combination with the Neo, the Motion Controller 3, and the Goggles N3, what you have to do is, first of all, make sure you have the right version of Fly on your phone. Second of all, activate everything one at a time, and as you activate, you'll find that each one will have a firmware update, probably, that has to be done. Then once you've made that firmware update, first by connecting to your Neo with the phone and doing the firmware update, then by connecting to the uh, goggles, the N3 goggles, using an OTG cable, which in my case is lightning on one side and USB-C on the other, could be USB-C to USB-C. You'll plug this into the top here and it'll allow you to do your firmware updates to the goggles. And then finally, you will bind the Motion Controller 3 with the goggles N3 by holding down the power buttons for a couple of seconds until they start beeping, and then they'll bind to each other. And then once they're bound to each other, you'll be able to control your Neo with the motion controller using the goggles. Here's the power button over on the side. So I'm gonna do the one, two DJI double tap. One, and then two, and hold. All right, so let's go ahead and plug the USB-C cable in right here to that slot and plug the phone in over here. I'm gonna open up the DJI Fly app. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. It turns out we didn't have the right DJI Fly software application installed in order to activate this thing and update it and all that. I believe now I have it, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the new firmware on these goggles, which is what it's asking for now. So we'll let it do that. All right, it says DJI goggles N3 firmware downloaded. I'll hit install. All right, select Neo. All right, so now it's looking for a drone. So I guess we'll go ahead and activate the Neo. Uh, connection guide. DJI Neo, connect via mobile device, allow, and DJI Neo, okay, it sees it, it's connecting. All right, I wanted me to press and hold that button for three seconds, which I did, and now it actually looks like it's connecting to the Neo. Oh, there we go, it's connected. All right, so I guess part of the theme here is that you have to update the firmware on your Neo before you can to the goggles. Again, compelling TV. 
Mm. As Chris zooms in. Okay, it's done updating. Got it. Connect. Connection failed. Oh, because the drone's off. Mobile device. There it is. Connecting. Join. So now, bind to the goggles. One thing to note about these goggles, you have to kind of push the button slowly once and then hold it down. If you do it too quickly, quick, and then again. <laughs> it worked, okay. It, it just does the opposite of whatever you want it to do. Oh, there we go. DJI goggles N3 firmware downloaded, install. Okay, so it needs to install firmware on the goggles. So updating that. So while the leaf blowers are blowing every leaf outside, because the motion controller connects with the goggles, I put the motion controller into bind mode. Now I'm gonna put the goggles into bind mode. Oh, that happened pretty quickly. Uh, oh, and I just saw what I was expecting, a motion controller firmware update. So just know that you're probably gonna have to update the firmware on your goggles, your Neo, and your motion controller before you can get them all to talk to each other. Okay, now I have a live view from the goggles as well as on my phone that we're recording with. Motor starting. Press and hold the lock button to take off. And I'm flying. Whoa. Almost, oh, oh I'm crashing, crashing, crashing. Where am I? There we go. Why is this so crazy? All right, so after a moment of um, panic, although I didn't actually crash, I think I did end up in a corner, I realized after Chris told me, you have to slightly hold the trigger and then rotate your wrist in order to rotate. If you just rotate your wrist, it doesn't do much. It will tilt the camera, but that's it. So slightly pull the trigger, rotate your wrist, and then pushing the trigger forward makes you go backwards. Pulling the trigger backwards towards you makes you go forward. Okay, so we just uh, got out the Avada 2 to see if you could bind it to these goggles. And I'm going to come into here and I'm going to go back to... So to get to the menu, which is on the left side of the screen, you use the joystick to the right. I'm gonna go up to the status, go up to switch, hit DJI Avada. Okay, we're gonna try turning on the Avada 2, the goggles N3, which now it's doing what I said, press once slowly and then again, that does it. I think you have to press it long enough for the light to come on the first time. And if you press it too fast, the light doesn't come on. And so then we'll turn on the motion controller and we will go into the goggles. Okay, so now we have the Avada 2 firmware updated. We have the goggles N3 firmware updated and I will put Avada 2 in bind mode. And I will put this in bind mode as well, which is the side button. All right, and we are bound. And let's just see if we can spin it up. Well, I will say these goggles look really good. So this was just a video to unbox the Goggles N3 and to make sure that we could get them to work with both the Neo and the Avada 2, which they do. I'm pretty excited because I think if you wanna get into flying FPV, this kit with the Goggles N3, the Neo, and the Motion Controller 3 are gonna be a great way to start because the price on this is something you can't beat for digital FPV, especially the high quality that you get with these three devices. It's not your ending point. It's not where you're gonna to want to uh, fly if you want to get into flying freestyle or doing cinematic stuff, but it's a really great starting point And I have a feeling they're gonna make these compatible with a lot of the upcoming DJI drones as well as the Avada 2 So it isn't like you're stuck just flying the Neo forever, but the Neo is a great place to start Let me know what you think about the goggles N3 check out the full review and we'll see you next time on ready set drone. Oh, you just pick a direction
<laughs> and it just does it. Good golly. All right, let's see what happens if I go to power loop. Power loop is selected, push forward. Wow. What the? Let's see what else is in this box. Is there? An... There's actually nothing else in the box. I don't think. I think these are all just spacers. Oh, there is one of these little silica do not eat things. 